A lot of you might remember the traveling rock polishing salesman kid. I think that's his name. He provided us with the coconut that we did just a couple weeks ago. He also polished a rock for us uh, several months ago. But he also provided us with a bunch of seashells that we're going to cut open. Like this one. And this one that is all wet for some reason. And this one, which this one is very similar to the first one that we did. But that first video... So, fun fact, the seashell was our very first video we ever did. It was cringy. <laughs> Please don't watch it. I won't link to it. I won't put clips of it in here. But if you want to go search for it, you can find it and watch it. It was our very first video three, three years ago, almost three years ago. It's bad, so go easy on us. I'm Mitchell and this is Dan. Thanks for watching our video. <laughs> anyway, we've come a long way since then, so we're going to revisit that one, but this time we have two slightly different ones. We'll probably get some slightly different results, I imagine. You're so smart, Dan. This one, we are going to be securing it using clay, which I think is the exact same way we secured the very first one three years ago. A lot of memories. I don't want to watch it and find out, but that's my <laughs> recollection. So our cut line will be coming straight across, but we're turning some of these so that they're slightly offset because it gives a slightly cooler cross section. Did you have a necklace made out of shells when you were in high school, Dan? A puka shell necklace? Yeah. Yeah, that was my time. Uh. <laughs> We do the uh, same since we've already done one similar to that. Very similar. We went extra slow on this one because we wanted a really clean cut, and I think we got it. That looks really clean. This one? That one? Whoa. That's fancy. So, Dan, do animals live in shells? I don't. Is this an animal with like a really weird spiral body? And if it does, because that's like a lot of spirals, does it spiral all the way down to the small section or is it like only in there a couple spirals? Still, I just wish I knew. This is the one that looks like a shark mouth. Ooh, that one's only got like three spirals on it. There's like none on that side. Oh, you got all the teeth intact. Shark mouth is still there. And it was just a few spirals. So maybe the shellfish that lives in here is a lot fatter. I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand how this is like made and how it grows. I think they start off small and then as the animal or whatever grows, it adds on to its own shell, right? But like, how do you explain the shark teeth portion? And like, does how it have do, shark that... teeth when it's small? And like, do those shark teeth push out further as it grows larger? Or why are there shark teeth, period? There's a lot of questions we don't know. <laughs> we, sh we should have brought a shell expert on. <laughs> well, I think we've shown how much uh, we know about shells. <laughs> Hopefully there are some good answers in the comments. I'll be sure to pin the one that makes the most sense. Uh, we are more the channel of unanswered questions. This was the first shell we did, the larger half of it. Uh, you want to explain what happened there? Uh, we sent it to another YouTube channel and they crushed it with their hydraulic press. Nice. So the new it one's a little smaller, but I think it came out a little cooler. It's got better colors. I like it. Here's to almost three years. This is like a birthday party, but it's not our birthday yet. I think it's already been three years, Dan. Has it? Yeah, we're after three years. Oh. Happy anniversary. Happy late anniversary. It's been, it's been a great three years, Dan. It's meant a lot to me. If you liked this shell best, then uh, click here for this video. If you liked this shell best, then click over here for this video. But if you like me best, click my face to subscribe. Why do we even want them to subscribe, Dan? I don't know. I don't know either. Just watch our videos. <laughs>